What's a good website to waste a whole night on? Erawid. Org science. History. Experiences. And law about just about every drug. Herb. And chemical that humans can consume. There are some fascinating and horrific experience stories. Google Maps. People doesn't seem to realize how crazy it is to be able to see literally the whole planet. If you showed this to a person who lived 50 years ago. They'd be amazed. I have spent entire evenings just scrolling across distant countries. Checking out villages in the far east of Russia or some deserts in Mongolia. Clicking on random landmarks and using Wikipedia to learn about random places. It made me realize more how many people actually live on this planet and how big it is. As a European. I noticed that the Alps are actually not that big. There are lots of mountain ranges with much higher mountains in them that I guarantee you have never heard of. I think it is an amazing tool that can really give you perspective. People use it in their daily lives to find the nearest Starbucks. But it is much more than that. Honestly if you've got a buddy or two you can call. Wiki races are super fun. Someone picks a starting article and the other picks an ending article. For instance Mongolian throat yodeling to the Vietnam War. And you can only go page to page by using hyperlinks in the article. No control plus F and no C similar. It's actually really fun to see how people's brains work when it comes to this. There's also the version where you go from a random article to Hitler Wikipedia, but that's way I, I, I too easy. Edit. Okay okay I get it. Mongolian throat yodeling to Vietnam war is easy. It was just the first two things that popped into my head lol. Edit 2. Chrome. Dino to play the Dino game in full screen. Careful there friend. I asked the same question 8 years ago and someone said read it. I'm still here procrastinating. Salty bet. Com. Two bots compete in a fighting game with user made characters and you bet fake money on it. Is stumble upon still a thing? That was my reddit before I migrated years ago. SCP wiki. Can't ever go wrong with trusty old wikipedia. I can just keep on clicking articles for hours. And even if it's not the most accurate source I've found out about a lot of cool shit on there. I think I have like 160 tabs open in the app. Come on people. Learn to use links. TV tropes. You mean besides the one you're on? Quickly lose track of time on YouTube. Once you fall down the rabbit hole there. It's easy to waste your whole night. Webkins. When I was a kid that shti was crack. I say I crack because I was addicted to crack 3 years ago, 1 year sober. Homer and Webkins almost gives me the same feeling. Cool math games. Omegle for sure. One night my college friends and I got drunk and were on it from 10pm till the sun was up and in the sky. Neopets. It's like standing in London and asking for directions to England. My friend. You're there. Duolingo. I don't know man. I'd probably say what put. RE Dungeon. I wasn't able to get a link. But I think you can play it as an app and on browser. Basically. It's a story based. Text based game where you work together with an eye to write a story. And I'm talking literally anything. Anything you can imagine. This eye will write it for you. Yes. Even NSFW stuff. Which from experience the RE is just as good at writing those as it is any other scene. It's fking awesome. Man. If you wanna have an eye write something specifically for you while you're putting in minimum effort. This is for you. It is wonky at times. But overall. It is very good. You know what? Cool math games. Com is everyone's childhood website. Edit. Oh and definitely brain pop. Com it's an educational website but it is very informative and fun to watch. We're all already here. I've gotten to a point where I'm literally just sitting watching Hante for the plot. The SCP Wiki. Miniclip. 
TV tropes. Last night I downloaded TikTok for the first time and spent 3 hours laughing my ass off at the creative and hilarious things people are coming up with during quarantine boredom. TikTok is controlled by the CCP. I have no idea why. But I get a massive kick out of reading 1 star reviews on Yelp. Especially with Pizza Huts in California. I read one where a driver tipped himself $100 from a guy's card. Without the customer knowing. Until the bank sent him an email saying his account is overdrawn. Why? Because apparently the customer didn't tip him. And that Pizza Hut location didn't give a shit that their driver basically committed fraud. Tropes can be a huge time sink if you're not careful. At one point. I had two separate windows full of at least 10 tropes tabs. If you wanna get lost. WWW. Gcron. Are we not good enough? Reddit. Homesterina. Etsy for me. I could sit there browsing for hours looking through everyone's shti. Then cry because of how much better everyone is compared to me. My favorite is going onto Wikipedia and someone presses the random article. Let's say it lands on Monarch Butterfly. Then you both randomize again and have to get to Monarch Butterfly using the blue click links. Whoever gets there first. Wins. I was in an LDR for 3 years. Kiss and I'm and read it. Club Penguin Rip. I spend one night reading info on Yokei. Com Finder. Interesting. Odd. And terrifying stories detailing a good amount of Japanese. Chinese. And Indian folklore on Oni. Demons. Spirits. Etc. SCP Foundation Wiki. I haven't seen this one in my brief search. But if you're into hunting stuff in the wilderness. This one rocks. Off the hand. Og. He has an entire series about finding a downed plane in the desert and multiple narratives about finding people that disappeared in the desert. I've gone back to this and read it multiple times. Because the story of Bill Yuasco and where the FCK he is is so interesting. Archive. Piran Hub. The whole night is 5 minutes. First go to www. Reddit. Com. Then click on our public freakout and enjoy the train wreck. Before you know it. 3 hours have passed. This thread is like going to a bar and asking if anyone knows a good place to get a drink around here. 